we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Today I'm going to be doing a straight pour and I'll be doing it on a uh, 20 by 16 inch canvas which is 50 centimetres by 40 centimetres. Spilt a bit of marmalade here. <laughs> uh, no, not real marmalade. Some pearl marmalade from Arteza, but that's okay. All right, so... I'll be doing it, oh, noises in the background, I've got dogs. I'm only going to be doing about 10 ounces because I'll be doing more paint around the outside. So yeah, that was a dog going through a doggy door. I am sorry, well, I apologise for the noises of the dogs, but I live with dogs, so I'm afraid that's how it is. Yes, lots of dogs. <laughs> Lots of dogs everywhere. So yeah, and this is where I do my painting. So <laughs> uh, you can understand why there are lots of dog noises. And just playing. All right, so I'm going to start with a little bit. This this here is. It's just white with some satin enamel uh, added. So I'll just put a tiny bit of that in. Don't want too much. This here is Arteza. I've been fortunate enough to get some uh, more Arteza paint. So I'm really pleased. It's not very easy to get it in Australia. I got it through Amazon. All right, so this is lemon yellow. So to start off with, I just have a little bit because this will end up in the middle. And this here, I made up this orange with some lemon yellow and a little bit of, well, I start off with Bordeaux red, but I don't recommend that because, of course, if I'd have thought about it, that has a little bit of, would have, I imagine it's got a little bit of blue in it. Uh, that didn't really work, it kind of went a yucky colour, so lucky I hadn't put too much in. And then I added the cadmium red instead, Arteza, and that worked a lot better. So just, this here is the pearl marmalade, this is the Arteza cadmium red. So the paints are reasonably thick. It's mound on a mound, leaves a, a trace for a little while. Now, this one here is the Bordeaux red, which is much richer and darker. So you can see I'm building up my colours. And now I'm going to go to the purple. This is the dark Cezanne purple. And this is ultramarine blue in, okay, these two are Liquitex. This is Liquitex Heavy Body and this is Liquitex Basics. The Liquitex Basics is mixed approximately two to one with Floetrol. And the Dark Seam Purple had a lot more Floetrol in it, probably about five times Floetrol or six. Um, all right, so now I don't want green, and as I'm going to go to, let you know, I'll go to gold next, but I'll put white in first, just to make a barrier between the blue and the yellows, 
I mean, a little bit of green won't matter, but I don't want a lot of green. Ooh, I just dropped some colour in there. And I don't want that mixing with the white, so I'll just pop that in there and that'll be fine. Make sure it's all off the spoon. All right, now I'm going to do the 24K gold from Deco Art. This is mixed pretty thickly. Otherwise, the, the gold tends to just sort of float over the top of all the other colours. By mixing it thickly, you get more of a, a differentiation between the colours. You're more likely to get your lines, in other words. Right, I've got some snoring dogs in the background. It's night time here now. All right, I think that's enough gold. So I'll go back. I might put a bit more white. Just between the yellow and the gold. I can start, see this is what you shouldn't do, you shouldn't hold it, your cup over your colours because you can end up with it dripping in like that. So let that <laughs> uh, be a heads up for you guys. Don't do what I do. Alright, so I can do, because we'll now be going further out in the circle because the bottom colours will be the last to come out, so they'll be in the very centre. So the further up we go, the further out they'll be in the circle, so we can make them a bit wider now. So a bit thicker layers. So that one, what's the matter? They're just talking to each other. Not that keen on this orange. I was hoping to get a very bright orange. But that'll have to do. Pour it in actually. I do love this one though. It is a gorgeous colour. So I might put that next to some gold. And now the red. I am not using the uh, turquoise deep this time, which is unusual for me. I usually have the turquoise deep in these types of pores. But Leaving out a few of my normal colours, you might have noticed. So I'm not using the turquoise deep and I'm not using the uh, aquamarine blue or the pink tourmaline, which I usually have been putting in these pores. Which I do love all those colours, but I'm just doing something a bit different. Thought I'd concentrate more on the warm colours of the reds and yellows and oranges. This is a bit more runny. I was making this up. I had a really bad batch of the flow troll. So some of these are not as thick as I'd like them to be. But then I went back to Bunnings and asked when how long they've had their new batch for. And then I explained why I was asking that question and they said, oh, look, just bring it back. All right, what am I up to? Blue. So I did. I took the rest back in and I could have got a
credit, but I decided just to get another pot of Floetrol. So that's really good and really grateful for that. Alright, so now some white. Do a fairly big layer of that. And let's go with gold first. No, I won't. I'll go back to the yellow. I'll leave out that orange this time. Do the gold. The marmalade. And I think I'll go straight to the Bordeaux red. And that can be the last one. Ooh, I do like these colours. Let's hope it turns out how I'm hoping. Alright, I'll just clear all this away. I shall be back in a tick. Alright, so... Actually, I just need something to rest my arm on. So this is my one year anniversary for when I put my first YouTube video up on... YouTube, so yeah, <laughs> one year's gone by and done just over a hundred videos, so yeah, could have done more, but hey, I'm glad I've done what I've done and thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate that, that's so awesome, and to everyone who watches my videos, thank you so much. If you haven't already subscribed, please do as it helps my art journey incredibly so. Wow. That yellow is gorgeous. See how they mix with all the other colours. I thought I didn't have much paint, but it seems to be covering the canvas. Just lift this up. No, I won't. Just concentrate on what I'm doing. Oh, that's looking beautiful. A little bit of white I put down the bottom. Yay! Oh wow! Wow! Oh. to be moving over this way a little bit so I'll just put some of those under there. Oh, that's just so beautiful. The gold next to the yellow. Wow. Let's see if I'll bring it up to you. Beautiful. 
right, give it a torch, pop some bubbles. It's good to do that early on because when you pop your bubbles, whatever's underneath shows and if you've already stretched it out then it's quite thin. Like when I pop them now, the ones in the yellow will probably stay yellow. Whereas once it's been spread out a bit, it's one bubble there. Um, once it's been spread out a bit, then when you pop them, you get a different colour coming up, and it can make it look a bit speckled, which I don't particularly like. All right, so it doesn't work doing that. Oh, there you go. There's no, is a is it a bubble? I do believe, yeah, it was a bubble. Just did not want to pop. And that brought up the red that was underneath. All right. Ah, oh, I really am loving that. All right, so I might... Now I'll save that in case I want that for corners or something. All right, so I think that's well covered. It doesn't really matter too much what colours you use, except I have found that your colours, uh, you might get cells coming through, and if you've used a colour which, is, which doesn't match the colours in your pore, it can end up looking a bit ugly, because often I've used my poured off paint that I've scooped off, scooped up afterwards and used that. And I was going to use this one and I had thought that if I had intended actually to incorporate that within the colours but then I forgot. So I decided not to use this as the surrounding colour because as I said you can end up with the cells coming through and it just might not match if there's not that colour in the original pour. Just give this another torch. Most of these colours were made up ages ago, but a couple of them were made up not or earlier today, put it that way. All right. Oh. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> Snoring dogs. Hopefully it will run over that, yes. Oh, it's almost about to roll over. See, the purpose of this is so it doesn't roll over on itself. It should just slide along. But if the surrounding paint is either too thick or it has dried, kind of dried already, but might be of too thick a consistency. Hey, what's up? I've got Nala by my feet and she's decided to growl at something. What is it? Hey, it's all right, it's all fine. You should be used to me talking by now. To there. Hey, hey. At the moment what I'm doing, I'm just stretching it out so we can see what what's happening within those lines because as long as you can Sorry, dog, dog, dog going through the doggy door. Sometimes you can find some beautiful, beautiful patterns within the lines. And once you stretch them out, you see what's there. And if you don't want to lose your composition, you need to try and center it up so the, the weight of the paint is going where you want it to. Now that is rolling over, isn't it? So that hasn't really worked. Yeah. Now 
this more runny? I think it is. I will put some here. Hopefully it'll... It will stop rolling over on itself if it's got something to push along or roll over. See how that goes, if that makes any difference. Yeah, see it's just pushing that along now, it's not rolling over anymore. Right, let's go over the edge, bring it back. And I might just keep heading down to that corner. No, see it needs just turned itself off. So I just put that blue there, so hopefully see now it's not rolling over on itself. Get over that corner, go back, make sure it is over. beautiful in there. Alright, now check where the weight of the paint is. Bring that back down to the middle. Now head off down to that corner. Which I might just get that red So the red goes over as well. Running out of battery, so hopefully it'll hang in there. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Not so keen on that down there. Whereas up this end is just gorgeous, so I'm just going to push it down that end and stretch out this part near me. Maybe it's a little bit more. Beautiful. All right, no need to bring it back because you don't want all the weight of the paint at one end because that will mean that it's a deeper thickness of paint and you don't want it to crack. Oh, loving it. So beautiful. All right, I think I'll stop here and I'll bring you in for some close-ups. Just get the paint off the edge. It's always a good idea to get the paint off the base of your canvas as otherwise it can start pulling your paint off the top basically. So I'll just do that and then I'll bring you in. Oh I'm loving it some close-ups. 
So here it is. I am loving this. Just so many beautiful parts. Bring you in for some close-ups. Beautiful lines. But I changed this middle bit. I didn't like the solid piece of white, so I just dragged a little stick with some red through it and then down. So can't really tell. But I'm loving, loving this deep rich red in the middle. It's just gorgeous. Look at these cells. They're amazing. And I'm loving the yellow and the gold and the pearl marmalade together. And then the Bordeaux red. Remember I was saying about uh gotta be careful what colours you put for your to you know to go around your pore to help it to flow. And see that blue in the corner? Yeah, it's popped through. So oh, just loving it. Beautiful big boulder cells. And these lovely delicate ones down the side here. I just think it's so gorgeous. And the lovely gold. Looks a bit green through the viewfinder, but I can't see it looking green in real life. <laughs> it's so hard to get the colours to be correct. And this area over here is really pretty too. It's just so gorgeous, so beautiful. Very, very lovely. So yeah, I'm really happy with this, my one year anniversary painting. So yeah, thanks so much for joining me and for, yeah, just, <laughs> I do find it quite amazing that so many of you have already subscribed. So thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please do and give me a thumbs up, please, if you've enjoyed the video. And I'd love to hear your comments. Please let me know what you think. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Okay, bye for now.